Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Uh, back when I was about 12 years old, um, I was out uh, playing in the backyard on uh, Labor Day. It was hotter than heck. I was uh, playing with my uh, dog and uh, mom, she would always uh, cut the sleeves off t-shirts and she would cut them down low so they would be a lot cooler when I was working or uh, you know running around playing with the dog. And uh, on this particular day, I disturbed a yellow jacket nest, and uh, those yellow jackets attacked me and the dog in force, and uh, I got stung all over the back of my neck, my face. Um, they got inside my shirt because that shirt was cut off low, stung me all over my back, and if I remember correctly, I had something like 30, 30 stings from these yellow jackets on me, and I was pretty much in uh, agony, and uh, the dog got stung uh, pretty bad too, and uh, what mom did is, is she went in the house and she went in the cupboard and she pulled a couple of things out and she made a uh, concoction of some pretty fairly common ingredients at the time and you guys probably still have these in uh, in your pantry as well but she made a paste of that stuff and uh, she put that on those uh, stings to soothe that pain and uh, give me a little bit of relief from that uh, bad situation but anyway I'm gonna turn the camera around here I'm gonna show you what mom made that day and uh, how she used it on me these are the uh, two ingredients that mom would use to uh, make a paste. Um, if she didn't have one, she usually had the other. And uh, she would make a paste of that stuff, and that's what she would uh, use to soothe any stings um, that we got when uh, when either we were outside working or playing on uh, that particular day. And all I got there is I got about a tablespoon of... Uh, meat tenderizer the unseasoned kind and then i also have a about a tablespoon of a bacon soda and all mom would do is she would put just enough water on that to make a bit of a slurry or a paste and then that's what she would use to pack into those uh stings and uh this is about the consistency it's just uh, maybe like a, uh, I don't know, maybe like a ketchup type consistency. And, uh, give that a stir so that dissolves. Let's set for a minute or two to uh, kind of solidify and to uh, soak up the water. And then she would uh, plaster that on uh, my stings. After these... Uh, these uh, items sat here for a minute to kind of soak up. Uh, Mom would just take those, and if I had stings on my hand, she would just put a little, little dab of that, of one kind or another, whichever kind she had, on my skin, where uh, where the stings would be, and uh, she would just leave that on there, and. Uh, <laughs> You would just sit down and uh, you would wait for it to uh, work and typically it would uh, it would take the sting out and it would uh, sort of relieve the discomfort of um, those stings but like i said just an old time uh, remedy that uh, worked good for me and i wanted to share it with you guys here just a little bit of water and uh, unseasoned meat tenderizer or a little bit of water and uh, bacon soda um, in a pinch can relieve uh, a little bit of the discomfort from uh, stings. Anyway, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information, a little entertainment, and another tool, as always, out of my videos here. You guys have a good one.